In 1954, one man set out to create a very different sort of garden. On mudflats of southern Malaysia, he scattered seeds of unusual varieties. One was called airport, another stock exchange, and perhaps hundreds of seeds called skyscraper. The land beneath the feet of Singaporeans today is thanks to the careful tending of a master gardener and founding father of one of the finest nation states the modern world has to offer. Today we're having tea with Lee Kuan Yew. By quickly glancing at Lee Kuan Yew's Mahadasha setup, it's easy to spot the time when life took a turn to give rise to the future leader he was born to be. As Singapore's first Prime Minister, Lee Kuan Yew transformed third world mudflats into a first world oasis in an astonishingly fast 30 years. So what made Lee such a brilliant and at times formidable leader? To me, the story of Lee's stars features loyal camaraderie, raw masculine power, and the stamina of a prolific artist who doesn't know when to stop. Just look at that 11th house, where the two friends and natural leaders, Sun and Mars, sit in the house of the kingdom, Leo. Here, their combined efforts are multiplied further by the unrestrained fighting ambition of Rahu. This is where Lee's heroic strength is coming from. He was once quoted as saying, anybody who decides to take me on needs to put on knuckle dusters. If you think you can hurt me more than I can hurt you, try. This house also exactly expresses the name of the political party that Lee Kuan Yew co-founded, the People's Action Party. People, the 11th house, action, Mars. What's more, Sun, Lord of the Eleventh, in his own house, associating with Mars, Lord of the Second House, is producing a powerful Dan Yoga. Let's take a look at his twelfth house, governed by career-driven Virgo. Again, it's a house full of great friends. This time, Saturn, Mercury and Venus are together. The conjunction of Venus, which is debilitated here with the house's exaltation planet Mercury, is creating a cancellation of debility. Furthermore, Venus is in miracle degree and is seated in her exaltation house. Venus Mahadasha produced a steady rise to the top, as all Trikona lords of Lee's natal chart are conjunct, thereby creating a rock-solid Raj Yoga. More upward momentum was granted by yet another debilitated planet, the Moon, whose debility is cancelled by its house lord Mars being placed Kendra to the Moon. As with every chart, there's always so much more to say. But more than anything, I just wanted to share with you a man whose legacy both inspires and keeps me on my toes. Lee Kuan Yew, you've shown me how much can be achieved in a very short space of time and the value of not only keeping one's house in order, but putting in extra effort to make it shine. Not many people can look back over the course of one lifetime and say they created a country. Ladies and gentlemen, would you kindly take off your knuckle dusters and join me in applauding the world's longest serving Prime Minister, Lee Kuan Yew.